But first, your reaction over this letter, why? Ah, you should write a letter, a prayer, a prayer letter to every institution. What's uh, your reaction? Uh, first and foremost, I am surprised at the controversy created. I think a controversy had been made by certain channels, the same channels who made last time also, but there is no controversy. So I don't see any controversy that. But if there is no controversy, what what is the uh, motto behind this letter? See, you know, every pastor, the bishop, calls his people for prayers on occasions in the country, in the church. We do it for different occasions in the church, we do it for different occasions in the country. This is a letter that is asking to pray for the country. That's all. But Father, this letter also shown that, that it talks about the 2019 election. Churches normally not comes in a politics uh, uh, and create a controversy, but this letter categorically shows that, that uh, they are, this is an appeal for the 2019 election. No, it is not an appeal for, is any party mentioned? Is anybody said you vote for this party? Has anybody said vote for this party? We are praying for the general elections and general elections are an event in the life of the country, that's all. But the Archbishop also talking about the new government in 2019. Every five years we have a new government. If our Prime Minister is re-elected, he will form a new government, that's all. So what, what's the, what's the big, anybody who has studied political science, anybody who knows newspapers, when you write in 2019, you will see a new government is being formed. What's wrong in that? So you will see no controversy in this letter? No, have we asked for change of government? We have said in 2019 a new government will take over. Let us pray for that new government. Same ministers will not be there. But the prime minister may be the same. Question raised over the timing. What, uh, do you think that uh, uh, the atmosphere is not uh, right uh, and that's why the uh, Archbishop brought this letter. I am I am raising a question about the timing of the channels. This letter was given to the people on 8th of May. Why did it take them two weeks to come up with this letter and create a storm in the teacup? The question is not about timing of the letter. The question is about the timing that the channels have taken it. What are the channels having as an agenda? They have not, not having any other news now. That's why they brought it. I don't know. Father, if it is a cooked controversy, then who is behind this? No, I am not saying it's a cooked controversy, but certain channels like doing this type of work. They are not giving us good journalism. They only want to create controversy. Maybe that the TRP goes out. But uh, I don't think the Archbishop ever wanted this letter to go to the TV channels. I don't think the Archbishop. Uh, Archbishop is written to his parish priest, to his people. The biggest polarizers are some of these channels. I'm sorry to say that. So you not you are not saying any politics or any polarization? Absolutely or... not. You show me in the letter where is the polarization. You show me. And I will point out how it is not polarized. We have not mentioned any party. I mean the Archbishop has not mentioned any party. The Archbishop has not said we must change the government. The Archbishop has said we are living in turbulent times. Do you agree with me we are living in turbulent times? Do you agree with me that one minister, one um, uh, MP in Uttar Pradesh says that we have broken the Ambedkar statutes and nobody said anything about it? Do you agree that same MP has been saying that uh, we are a danger, Christians are a danger in North East? There's one MP has been saying that, you know that. No, none of you have brought that up. Now, a very innocuous, innocent letter from the Archbishop is being turned by some of these anchors who don't allow anybody else to speak. They don't allow, they shout down the fellows who want to speak. They allow certain people to speak. Tell them to go and watch back their whole uh, TV debates. Is that the way to conduct journalism? Turbulent times are also in journalism because our journalism is going down.